Hey people, welcome back. HP 14S, touchpad's not working. Why? Okay, so I've managed to fix it now, but I'll, I will go through the thought process of fixing this. The uh, missing driver was this, this uh, I2C HID device. The, that will not install the driver, regardless of what windows you put in, Windows 10, Windows 11, update all the drivers, it doesn't matter, okay? So, what did I do? Dismantle everything, take the battery out, take, strip the board out of the uh, laptop, and I went under the microscope, and I will show you what I found that was absolutely shocking out of factory. The resistors near the uh, trackpad flex and the connector were crooked they were soldered crooked out of factory absolutely shocking um, let me see if I can get you a view they're still crooked but you will see traces of me working so all I've done is those four resistors what you see I've actually trying to get a decent view and um, I may not be able to there you go I think we're nearly there oops yeah so you can see those four resistors let's get to it that one them three that are crooked all I've done is yeah you can see a little bodged up thing here there there so you know that I've been in and done what I've done I will re rectify that I'll tidy that up those resistors where you know I've, I've reflowed those resistors and by doing so it re-enabled the trackpad and that problem of i2c hid device uh, driver has disappeared now so uh, i don't understand i mean the, I've, I've gone around the rest of the board everything seems to be fine you know they look well but i wasn't happy with the, these resistors uh, uh, throughout the entire board you know very poor very 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 poor manufacturing um, and this is a HP 14S laptop. So if you're stuck with a situation where your trackpad isn't responding, uh, first thing to do is it is not driver related. I can promise you that um, it is a circuit related issue. First thing to do is to look at that area and possibly reflow those resistors. Be careful, they're very small. If you apply to too much heat, uh, you, can, you can sort of take them off the board. They're so tiny, your soldering iron tip will just take them off. So hold it with a pair of tweezers as you're doing, uh, you know, uh, the, the reflow. Pro reflow. Um, so I hope this was useful and uh, I'll catch up with you on the next uh, video. Peace.